make you a world with these two hands today Put a love, memories and laughs in all that I create Maureen here from MadeByMarzipan.com Today I'd like to show you my craft room and share a few ideas on how you can make the most of your space. My rule for my craft room is that everything must be either functional or beautiful, and preferably both. You might not have the budget to buy a pretty table or a cute chair. That's okay because we're crafters and our talent is creating beautiful things. I bought two of these desks at a garage sale for $10 a piece. A coat of primer and two coats of spray paint updated these laminate desks, and new silver drawer pulls match the other furniture in the room. You should also work with what you have when it comes to chairs. This chair was the last one left of the cheap set we bought as newlyweds. It took 10 minutes to unscrew the seat and staple on new fabric that matched my room. If you're feeling adventurous, try reupholstering an armchair. I spent a day recovering this chair and my favorite fabrics. Another item that's easy to update is the ironing board. I made this new cover in 15 minutes, turning it into an accent instead of an eyesore. Take a look around your room and ask yourself how you could beautify the items you own. Spray paint a metal trash can, alter the outlet covers, or add new hardware to cabinets or drawers. I swapped out plain black handles for vintage thread spools on this old armoire. Let's talk storage. You may not have a lot of floor space, but chances are you have plenty of wall space. Make the most of your area with vertical storage. Hang your thread on the wall to keep it from tangling. You can alter an old frame or turn a crib railing into a thread organizer. This is also a good spot to hang your cutting mats and rulers. If you have a very large cutting mat, it can double as a floor mat. I bought this cutting mat for $30, turned it face down to protect the markings, and use it as a mat for my rolling chair. I like to organize smaller items by type first. For example, sewing notions will be in one drawer and paints in another. Then I divide the items at least once more. A place for trims, spot for zippers, and an area for buttons. You don't need to spend a lot of money. I repurposed this thrift store planter to store my pens. And all of these boxes came from the dollar store. If you find inexpensive containers you like, stock up on them. Matching boxes make your space appear more organized. I store scrapbook paper in a closet to minimize dust and exposure to sunlight. I also keep my wireless printer in there. Consider installing floor to ceiling shelves if you can spare the closet space. I fold my larger pieces of fabric and store them in an armoire. Smaller scraps are organized by color and then placed in large plastic bags inside a filing cabinet. You might be wondering if I'm always this organized. Well, I do have a secret. I keep a bin labeled to do and a bin labeled to organize. Unfinished projects go in the to do bin until I have more time. Messes that I don't want to clean up get dumped in the to organize bin. I sort through it when I'm in a crafting slump and it gives me new ideas. Whatever your space is like, keeping it organized, pretty, and clean will inspire creativity.